Ah, I knew you'd find me eventually in search of the tech news. Follow me. What up, dogs? In we be beefing news, NVIDIA be beefing with Intel, big time. Intel recently published benchmarks showing Fortnite's landing Xeon Phi chips are more efficient and higher performance than four GPUs for deep learning. Intel claimed that the chips could scale 38% better across multiple nodes and is 2.3 times faster in training a neural network than a comparable Maxwell GPU system. But NVIDIA has responded saying that if Intel were to use an up-to-date version of the benchmark Cafe AlexNet, then it would show that the Maxwell system is actually 30% faster than Xeon Phi, and a Pascal-based system would be 90% faster. Intel has since told Ars Technica, it is completely understandable that Nvidia is concerned about Intel in this space. Intel routinely publishes performance claims based on publicly available solutions at the time, and we stand by our data. Well, hey there, we've got some exciting back and forth stuff going on here. Let the CPU versus GPU battle continue. Yes. Yesterday at the Intel Development Forum in San Francisco, Microsoft revealed that they would be releasing an update that will allow regular Windows 10 users with a VR headset to use its holographic environment called Windows Holographic Shell. It's designed for the HoloLens and blends 2D and 3D apps together, creating a version of Windows in the virtual space. A video demo of the Windows Holographic Shell shows a woman using a number of Windows apps in the virtual space, as it allows you to do things like book a trip through the 3D travel app, letting you transfer transport to locations around the world. The Windows holographic shell will also be made available for all other headsets, not just the HoloLens. Additionally at IDF, Microsoft shared a video of Windows 10 holographic running at 90 FPS on an Intel NUC, which is a tiny desktop PC. Oh, Microsoft has also announced that it's building mixed reality ready PCs with Intel, which they plan to release publicly at the Windows Hardware Engineering Community Conference in December. HP isn't really a company known for making gaming PCs. So they've changed that by making a gaming PC called the HP Omen X. It's a cube-shaped desktop thing that is supposedly powerful enough to handle 4K and VR gaming. The baseline models include an i5 or i7 overclockable processor, 8GB of RAM, a 2TB hard drive and 256GB SSD, liquid cooling and an RX 480, but you do have the ability to run dual GTX 1080s or R9 Fury X graphics cards. The cube on its side look is also quite functional, separating hot components and giving you the room for expansion. The HP Omen X desktop is available now for $1,800 with all the stuff included, but $599 for just the chassis. It's time for... Short news stories said more quickly than others. Hey, thanks, man. Now, uh, you didn't quite get the name right, but it's the thought that counts, and the thought was truly magnificent, I must say. If you want to submit a thing, then, uh, yeah, talk to us on Twitter, and, uh, yeah, do that, so. At Gamescom, a trailer for Metal Gear Survive was revealed. This is the first Metal Gear game made without Kojima, and it has already faced quite a bit of criticism for looking more like a zombies mode on a Call of Duty game, and for the supposed absence of its franchise lead, Snake. Elon Musk's OpenAI nonprofit project will be the first customer of NVIDIA's supercomputer in a box, called the DGX1. A Nintendo NX patent shows a controller with swappable buttons which may allow users to swap D-pad controls with buttons to better fit their preferences. Dang it! Now I've got one less excuse to use when I'm losing. For select cities, Audi has revealed what they call traffic light information, which will allow new Audi cars to receive traffic data from the citywide traffic management system via the car cellular modem. This data will provide cars with a green light timer and other sorts of traffic information. As an impatient driver, this is exciting, but I doubt it will be in Canada anytime soon. Also, I doubt that I'll ever own an Audi, so. Xbox Wireless lets you connect your controller to a PC without wires or USB dongles. It will work with any PC that integrates the Xbox Wireless platform, and the first one to do so is Lenovo's latest Idea Center Y710 Cube. All of the sources for today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description. Alright, I guess so. Happy birthday, Don T. Cube. You're a good guy. Speaking of happy birthday, happy birthday to you! All of you! Because for a giveaway like this, well, it must be all of your birthdays. Anyways, look, man, our good pals at NCIXPC are giving away a brand new GTX 1080 graphics card. 
You know, just because they're nice guys and they want you to have a new graphics card because they're cool like that. So if that sounds good to you and you want a new uh, GTX 1080 and want to be best friends with our bestest of friends at NCXPC, then you can click right over here or down below to learn all about all of that and how to make that all happen in a jiffy. Just click the link and this one. So. Alright guys, that's it for Netlink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here to watch previous videos. And on the Twitters is where you can reach us. This is the Twitter, that, that's who we are. And uh, yeah, as always, like the video, comment fan, for fans with benefit, and subscribe for more like this one from NCIX. And yes, I did shave my mustache. It didn't last a very long time, but I figured that like there were enough comments about facial hair between me and Jack. So, I give all of my facial hair responsibilities to Jack, and I know that you guys will treat him well. I can be guaranteed of that. So, take care now.